all you guys like to work you guys to another one take review and this is my review of uh upgrade listen i went and saw this movie yesterday because i've been planning to go see it and i don't even know who this video goes uploads on saying yesterday like but either way go i went and saw this movie this movie from blumhouse uh stars logan marshall green as a uh, gray trace and there's some other people in there I don't have a piece of paper for me to list all these actors' names and who they play. So I'm going to give you the premise of the story and let you know what I thought about it. This is pretty much, okay, this guy named, like I said, Gray Trace. His wife is murdered. He's handicapped. And and he wants to find out who did it. And he gets this thing, and everything I'm telling you is in the trailer. Right there, so I'm not spoiling anything. It's this thing called a stem, which is put in his like neck. So he's allowed to like walk again, you know. Man. But Stem is kind of like a jar. The Stem talks to him, and nobody else can hear Stem but him. Stem, Stem, pretty much like controls his body part for him. It's kind of like, hey, you know, when your brain sends messages to your body and tell your your body to do so much. Since this stuff got disconnected, Stem is kind of like that connection for him. So it does stay for him. And so now it kind of becomes like a revenge tale, but with a twist. See. He Gray is kind of not a tech savvy dude. Not not not, not even say, I'm not gonna say tech savvy. Uh, he just not really into like the whole technology thing. Cause this will take place in like the future where like you have self driving cars. I think cars run off like sunlight and shit. So we're pretty far into the future, people. So once again, his his girl gets killed and whatever. He gets this device and put into him. So now he's kind of like on the revenge tale, but at the same time, he don't want anybody to know that he knows how to walk except for, I guess, the people who he's going after. This movie is amazing. Okay, the, from the the very first fight scene, I, I swear to God, when I was watching it last night. Every every time something happened in this movie. Like the crowd will react so loud, and, and like we, I, it's not to the point where it was rude with it. It was just like, oh my god, this is either it was hilarious or because he there's time that's it's not so good. It's, it's in the trailer where there's a time where he tells Stem to take over, and Stem starts fighting for him, and you see how he's moving, but at the same time you look the look at his face like, yo, how am I doing this? And it looks so authentic to where, like, just think about it. If you could control your body, your body just start whooping people's ass on its own. And you just look like, holy fuck, I am whooping people's ass. Like, it's, it gets like that. And there's, like, certain secrets in there with, like, fucking hilarious. There's some gruesome shit that happened to him, but it is very, very good. It's not it's not just, like, you're not going to see, like, 30 people get killed. I thought, I thought more, it was going to be more fight and more death. But it's not. in the way it's shot to where you see... He's kind of like a robot, but he's not. He's still actually him. It, it's absolute. Like this, this movie is very, very good. Very, very good. I actually wish uh, Blumhouse had sold it to Netflix, and Netflix would have got it. Uh, it would have probably been on Netflix. Oh, oh shit. Uh, <laughs> If Netflix would have got it, it would probably been on there. It would probably would have been in their most one of their most higher rated films. Because it just seems like a movie. And I'm not gonna say I'm not saying being on Netflix is anything bad and anything great. I'm just saying this seems like a movie that I can't wait till it's on Netflix so I can watch it over and over and over again. Because there's so many there's underlying messages there. I don't wanna give the underlying message because I think that in a way we kind of get spoiled to the film and that kind of type of thing. Yeah, it, it, I don't. I don't want to necessarily say what the underlying mess. I think the underlying message is because it might give hints to what happens in the movie. And some of you guys might be fucking smart. And you might be like, oh, that since you said that, it might mean this, and I might spoil the movie for y'all. Or some of you guys might just be like me, and no matter how many hits you get, you still don't know what the fuck going on until the end of the movie. Uh, but yeah, I man, this this movie is damn good. Bro. Like, acting was great for everybody. Everybody, like, seriously, like, this dude, Logan Green, Mark, Logan Marshall Green, uh, it's one of the two. He looked just like Tom Hardy. Bro, I, I, I swear to God, I thought this was Tom Hardy. He was all through the middle. I'm like, that Tom Hardy? Not in him, but still, it looked like Tom Hardy. It's <laughs> like, he, he, he did a great actor. This movie, low budget fan, super good, super good. I'm, I'm gonna have to give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, I, I don't think there was an element of it I didn't like. I like the, the fight choreography. The dog, I think one of the last fight scenes was just fucking amazing. It, the way it was shot, bro, it was 
it was so in the way the camera moved to capture it she, you, when you see it you'll be like oh yeah oh uh, yeah come in my pants oh uh, let me pants it, it's that good it's that good <laughs> you got you see it and let me know what you thought about it if not go to the movie check it out then come back <coughs> let me know what you thought about it hit that like button subscribe to my channel i'll catch you guys later good night